Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video because we have this right here today. The Mantis Blackbeard X System. It's super, super awesome. Before I try to explain it to you, I'm just going to show it to you. So let's get this out of the box. It's an awesome training tool. It's got accelerometer in it, gyroscope in it, and it also does a reset on one of these. It's an incredible, incredible training tool packed with tons of technology and i'm going to show you all about it right here in this video let me get this out of the box and i'll show you all right guys so check it out this is what you got you got your bolt carrier group that i swapped out for this piece it's one solid piece you never will have to rack it it just sits there and then you have the magazine replacement well to connect it to your bluetooth you're gonna click that and the blue light will come on I'm going to hit screen record on my phone and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So the Mantis app there, I'm going to hit connect. Actually, let me hit my screen record. I just said I was going to do a screen recorder. Okay, start recording. So first, I'm going to need to hit this. The blue light's blinking on there. I'm going to hit connect on my phone. And then you're going to go be at this screen. So I'm just going to walk you through it as if it was your first time getting on here. Uh, there's lots of resources on Mantis's website if you have any questions on any of this. But right off the bat, I'm just going to go to open training. It's set it down on a still surface. I might have to put it on the floor. Nope. Okay, open training. It's also a way you can save a bunch of boo lots if you're not at the range actually sending real ones. This resets your trigger. So I'm in open training, but I haven't hit start yet. Resets it every time. So I'm going to hit start, and then I'm just going to take some squeezes, and it's going to give me a score on how good I did. It measures things like over travel, your transition path. It literally is monitoring your live movements. Such incredible technology. And then you can compare training sessions and all kinds of stuff, but I'm just gonna hit start here on my phone. Do my best here and hold, a, hold a, a, a single shot here and I'll just do a quick little string So, you can see it recorded all my shots there. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. This shows my average score is a 89.8. But you can see there, apparently, I am uh, failing to the right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and tap. I guess I'm screen recording, so I don't even have to be sitting here showing you this. Uh, I'm going to tap the right side, and it says, hey. You are jerking the trigger. Movement in this area could be caused by the below. So you can see there, and I'll, I'll click uh, the top just to sake of showing you. I'm hitting too high. Poor follow through. And then it says too much head pressure. Poor follow through. You see the gist of it. But that right there is just the open training. So let me go ahead and hit uh, go back. And we can go through some more of this. There's a shot timer, par timer. Mantis X benchmark, all this stuff. Reload drills, so you can see all the stuff here. All right, so let's go to another one. Let's go to Mantis X benchmark. It says the, the goal here is to measure your precision and performance over time. Take 10 shots, focus on precision. The exact moment of the break should surprise you each time. This drill is not timed. So I'm gonna hit start. Really focus on my precision here. And I'm going to pick a spot here in my office.
So average score, 93 that time. Did a little bit better than last time, but check this out. It shows you the time there, your score on each individual squeeze. So look there, I had a 99 in there. Man, and then as low as an 82, that's not good. So if you click that, I'll click the 82, and it's showing you what you did wrong there. Let's do that again on 10, because I want to review the data on this, see if we can improve any. That time I had my thumb on this side, see if it made a difference. <coughs> Average score, 92.8. Oh, man, I had a couple really good ones in this string. 86.94. So let me click the lowest one. Which one's the lowest one? 86.1. And there's my movements there. See, it's got my cant. So this says on average I was canting at 6.6 .6 degrees. And then we go to switch all these shots. There's a, another 86. 94, you can see on that, a 94 score. A lot less movement. 96 right there. A 90. 86, that's that first one. A 90. 97, you can see where I'm not moving much. There you go. But I didn't know that it read the cant that's the first time i paid attention and saw the cant there so that's pretty cool but let's do it again real quick i'm gonna try to do these even quicker see if going faster makes the score worse i know i had one bad one in there see when i go fast my score went down to a 90.6 78 that's the worst score i've had so far Let's do one more string real quick. I'm going to do these real fast. See how s still I can be. Average score 92.7. But you get the gist there, guys. So here's my history of those last 50 shots. Average is 91.8. Five sessions. But you can see how this tracks your score and you can keep a log of your benchmark over time. Pretty, pretty cool. But you can see with that accelerometer and the gyroscope in there, it's literally tracking your movements and then you can click on it, keep a history, and it will literally tell you how to improve those fail points. How incredible is this technology? I'm going to go through this. It suggested that I do this. Perform the basic rifleman course. Challenge one, perform the Mantis X benchmark drill. So I'm going to go to this. Benchmark drill. Average score, 93.4. I'm getting better. Woo, and I got confetti coming up. Done. So now I'm going to go back. Rifleman course. And it says, challenge two. Shoot one great shot. Score of 95 plus in any drill. This is kind of cool. It's interactive and kind of helps you train. So I'm just going to go to, it says any drill. So I'm just going to go to open training and see if that, Count it over a 95. It's hard to get over a 95. Over that one, 93. 91. See if I can try to cheat and just set it on my lap here so I'm not moving. Ah, 91, even sitting on my lap. So that tells you how sensitive this thing is. That 
There's a 97. I don't know if they count that on my... Oh, yeah, it says Challenge 2 completed. How cool is that? So now, you guys get the gist of it, but it's interactive, and this is really cool. All right, I could I could sit here and show you guys this all day, but I'm going to show you another one. Well, it says, uh, congrats, your benchmark scores in the 70th percentile for experienced shooters. That's good. But I'm going to click this BBX Dynamics. Goal, increase speed while maintaining a good score. Instruction, shoot multiple targets, minimum of two. Focusing on straight transitions, minimal over travel, so going past the target, and minimal delay on target, and it's going to measure this. So I'm going to pick out two targets on my wall here, and then this is going to record all that and tell us how we did. So start. Shooter ready. Oh, pick up my two targets. All right, so delay is measuring how faster could you have been once you got on target and squeezed it off. And then the scores and the total times here. So check that out. I got a shot score of a 14, that very first one. Well, that was terrible. And then the best one was number 13, the 94.2. But you can see how it tracks all this Let's click that first one so that was my lead up to it this is so cool look at that oh my goodness so then it's measuring your transition there and then your squeeze and your delay and all that stuff this is such incredible technology oh my goodness so you can even see, it says where my travel was going up and down there. That one was more of a flat line. Ah, you see that little uh, delay there? Whoa, that one, see, I went way past. You can see how useful this tool is. Oh, my goodness. See, now that one's a little bit better. I didn't go too far past it. That one, when I'm going from right to left, apparently I go way past it. How cool is this, guys? See, that one was pretty terrible, finding the, the spot. There we go again. So one big thing I'm learning here is my right to left, I'm going way too much over travel. So that one is almost like I was trying to compensate for it, stopped short, then had to go back. That one was pretty good there. And that had the shot score of 94. So my right to left definitely needs a lot of improvement. And then here's the last one. So check this out, guys. Shows your splits, your delay there in the orange, your transition between the targets. This is such a useful tool, guys. If you have never seen these, check out mantis systems like i said i showed you the box here this is the mantis blackbeard x where it's got the blackbeard trigger reset system and then it also has the mantis x integrated into this baby right here but hey short video guys showing you this system from mantis you can train anywhere i'm sitting here in my office you're saving money on the boo lots and you're getting that feedback where even if I was doing live fire at the range, I'm not going to have this feedback, guys, to tell me. There's no way that I would have known on my over travel and the splits and all that. This is incredible, incredible technology. Definitely need to work on my transitions and my delays and my over travel. But hey. I could go on about this and show you guys this stuff all day, but I don't want to make the video too long. But appreciate y'all watching. 
Check that thing out. The Mantis Blackbeard X. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Let me know what you think about it, guys. Have you tried one of these? Uh, go check them out. But appreciate y'all watching. Super, super cool stuff. Mantis Blackbeard X. Appreciate y'all. Hoo-hoo!